here. Look. New spring grass. We made it. We made it, Mother. We... Mother. Hello, loves, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have here the second Halloween makeup look. It's this one. I was looking in Pinterest for like picture, like Halloween makeup because I really didn't know what to do and I came across this one. I'll put her uh, information down below so I just saw it I was like oh my god that's so cool. And it's basically Bambi's mom. If you haven't seen Bambi, Bambi's mom is shot and many makeup artists have been doing this which is she has been shot in the head so I was really really excited uh, to do this it's a very sweet look you can do just uh, the makeup but you can add this it's very very cool it'll be very different when you go to a party so yes hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up also comment down below what other types of videos you want to see you can also follow me on my vlog channel which is mtc beauty vlogs i'm actually doing a lot of vlogs and connecting them to make a big vlog also you can follow me on my other social medias let's get into the video so i'm sick so excuse my voice but we're gonna start by playing the mac paint pot in soft ochre and apply with a concealer brush Then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Au Natural palette and apply the cream color as my base. Then I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadow in Caramel and apply it to my crease. Then taking the Morphe single eyeshadow as well, I'm gonna apply the color Undress Me, which is which is a purpley pink color. I saw the girl from the picture that had more of that transition, so yeah. Then taking again the cream color from the Wet n Wild palette and apply it to my lid. Then I just uh, did my eyeliner and apply lashes out of camera because we know it can get difficult. <laughs> For my foundation, I'll be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the color Y245 and apply it to my face and blend it out with the Morphe Y6 brush. Now I'll be taking my all-time favorite concealer. It's a Tarte Shape Tape in light sand and apply it where we really want to brighten this look, which is our under eyes, the bridge of our nose, our chin, etc. Because we really want that under eye to be very brightening, I'm actually going to take an eyeshadow, which is from the Morphe 35O palette, which is a cream color, and apply it to my under eye to really brighten this look. Now I'll be taking the e.l.f. cream contour palette and I'm just gonna kind of contour but I don't know how to explain it but we're gonna apply a lot to give us that look of a deer. So I'm just applying where you usually apply your bronzer or your contour and just blending it out with a dual fiber brush. Doesn't matter if you get out of hand. That's the idea of giving it a more like a fur look 
So yeah, you can get as messy as you want. Don't worry. So because I want my nose to look like a deer, I'm just gonna contour my nose basically and just blend it downwards. But we really wanna make it like seem as we really have our nose very defined. So I'm just taking a very small brush and making two lines. I kind of messed up so that's why I went over with my shape tape and straightened that line and we just want to blend those lines as I said before downwards. To set the cream contour, I'm just going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and go crazy with it. I'm also going to use a Hula Bronzer to set my nose contour. For the dear dots, I'm just going to take the NYX Jumble Eye Pencil and Milk and just make dots um, around my face. Be sure to make them different sizes. We don't really want to make them all look alike. For the bullet, I just uh, applied some liquid latex. I actually draw a, drew a circle, sorry, drew a circle in the middle of my forehead and just applied the liquid latex and just uh, broke down some of cotton balls and just started, just see. I don't know how to explain it, but you'll get it. Then when you have your cotton ball, it's not ball, but residue, I don't know. You just want to put latex, liquid latex over it again and let it dry. So as you can see, I just took a little latex on my finger and tried to smooth it out. Uh, I saw that I made it a little like too, like a circle. So I wanted to flatten it out a little bit more the cotton ball so that's why I'm very pressing it as you can see as well I'm gonna do that technique with the brush I wanted to make it a little bit more flatter instead of rounder
For the nose and mouth, I'll be taking the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and start by taking a very defined brush and start making the deer nose. It was very easy. I didn't go. Many people just do where their nostrils are, but I really want to make it a little bit thicker. And with the same gel eyeliner, I'm just going to fill in the nose. Then I'll just be making a line that connects my nose to my mouth. And I'm just going to take the gel eyeliner and apply it to my upper lip. Because it's gonna look as if we have a smaller mouth. And then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and set all the parts we applied the black eyeliner. So I wanted my eyes to look a little bit more like a deer. So I'm just going to take this eyeliner and try to make my eyes look like a deer's eyes. So I am just want to really open them up. I I already have big eyes, but I just want to define them no more, so that's why I'm taking the gel eyeliner underneath my lower lashes and really darken it. Not darken it, but make it, like, I don't know how to explain it. Make it look a little bit more defined. Taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills single eyeshadow in caramel and just apply it to my lower lash line. So for the wound, I just applied foundation and I'm taking a black eyeshadow and just applying it a little bit over the borders. And I'll be taking the Morphe 35O palette and taking that reddish brownish color and also apply it to the borders. We really want this to look like a brew, so that's why we are applying black, red. We're also going to be applying purples, etc. Now I'll be taking the Wet n Wild uh, eye palette, eye shadow palette we have been using, it, and taking that purple color and just apply it around the borders as well to make it a bruise like look. Now taking the 35B palette and taking that red color and also apply it throughout the borders. And I'm also going to take this color a little bit in. Now taking this brush that has residues of a reddish brownish color, just gonna also just blend out the colors and it will give a little bit more color to it. Now taking the black eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and just make a dot in the middle and then I'm gonna take again the reddish brownish color and just blend it out a little. The black dot is gonna make it as it were a dent where the bullet went through. So I'm going to take that red color from the 35B and also blend out the colors. Now for the blood, I just wanted to make it look like the girl, but it didn't came out. I think I applied too little at the beginning, but then I applied too much and you're going to see my face. I went like, what? But then at the end, I really liked how it looked very realistic. It, I thought that, yeah, that this is what it would be when someone shoots somebody, like, there's a lot of blood, so, yeah. Now, taking the end of a brush, I'm just gonna um, define more where I want my blood to go. So, I'm just making some stripes, and yeah. For my lips, I am taking the NYX Pin Up Pout 
lipstick in the color sophisticated and apply it to my lower lip and that is it for this makeup tutorial hope you guys like this video remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't also don't forget to follow me on my other social medias and also comment down below what other types of videos you want to see i had planned to make more halloween videos but i only could make two but i'm very happy with what i did and i hope to do more next year i love you loves and i'll see you on my next one bye